Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and welcome back to another opening night. It has been a while. Um, again, I do apologize that I haven't been able to do many of these as much as I want to. It's just, now that things are actually slowly getting back to normal, i actually been really occupied with doubling down on two years of losses for projects and stuff, and things are going extremely well. I just want to let you guys know that, and that's why you haven't seen many videos lately. Um, I know I constantly delay and delay, but just... Times are changing, and it's good times are changing. But with that said, I'm finally getting back to requested reviews, uh, whether it be through Patreon and or mailed in. And this one was a mailed in request uh, from a fan who actually had sent me two movies, and I reviewed the first one a while back, but now I'm going to try to finally make up for it and get back to the second one. That, of course, being uh, Doctor Who Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD, which is... The sequel to The Last Doctor Who? I can't recall. Um, so for those who don't know, I'm not a big Doctor Who guy. I know of Doctor Who. I just never watched it. I've never cared for it. I'm not really the biggest fan. Now that's not to say it's bad. I think it looks cool, but it's just not something I'm going to put so much time and dedication towards because it's just, for some reason, British science fiction and British content has never really been my thing, especially if it comes from the BBC. But, I mean, granted, I do like some stuff from Britain. I always liked Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid. I love Ardman animation. There's some British stuff I like, Monty Python, and um, a few other uh, things here and there. I do like a fair share of British uh, entertainment, don't get me wrong. But Doctor Who is one of those ones where I just can't get into it. I've tried so many times. And as much as fans want me to, it, it's sort of like My Little Pony, but in a much better light where I know this thing is actually pretty cool, but it's just I don't have so much dedication towards it. But because of Patreon and because of uh, fan donations, so somebody sent me this through the mail, which you can too, I will uh, put a link to the address in the description below. Um... I did sit down through now two Doctor Who products. The first one, I thought nothing of it. It was very Willy Wonka mixed with like an Irwin Allen production with Peter Cushing. The sequel is about the same. Uh, Peter Cushing is back as Doctor Who. And this one opens with like, I think a police officer or something. <coughs> he uh, He's just doing a patrol. They're playing, um, oh, I can't remember what the music, this classic track. They're playing like, I think the, uh, the uh, Phantom of the Opera theme. Or something, you know, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I'm like, is this going to be a Halloween special? What the fuck? And he goes into this uh, booth, which turns out to be the police in the box, and comes across Doctor Who and his friends, who are on another wacky adventure. And what's funny is, is that when Doctor Who introduces himself and tells him what everything is, the guy's like, yeah, I know who you are, and you've been causing trouble. And for Doctor Who and them, it's like, oh, wow, okay, this guy knows who we are. What the fuck? Okay, we, we got to plan our game here. But then it turns out because of time travel horse shit, they end up in the year 2150 AD, and the Daleks have essentially pulled the Skynet, they run the planet now, and it's all about fighting back against the, the machines. You know, it's a pre-Terminator, basically. And what's funny is, I'll, I'll just admit, I put this on, I was watching it as I was cleaning my apartment, actually, um, and it makes for a good kind of pastime uh, late at night. And watching the second one, it, it, they're pretty much the same. Like, they're pretty much the same production design. Although this one has a bit more to offer. There's more Daleks. There's more uh, fun stuff happening with them. Uh, the production design's a tad bit better. Although, because half of the sets look like ruined, look like the Blitz, um, I was having either a mix of, like, flashbacks watching World War II films taking place in the bits, or Threads. I was getting Threads flashbacks, but at the same time, it's like... Again, I'd rather take the Daleks than whatever that movie provided. I, for, I just want to try to get that movie out of my brain. But to the point, um, the production design's a little better. And this one has a lot more funk to it. And what I mean by that is it's in the soundtrack. Uh, when did this movie come out? I'm just checking here. 1966. And that would explain why. Because one thing I noticed about this soundtrack in this movie... It has a very Batman 66 vibe. It has that very campy Batman 
uh, thing to it, and it makes sense. 1966, you know, why not? So it has a bit of that, like, music that uh, they did for the 60s Batman show in there. A little bit of that, like a little jazz and stuff. So the vibe is definitely in there. This is very much a 60s film. Uh, whereas the first one felt like an Irwin Allen production, this one feels like a mix of a, a 60s Batman episode mixed with, like, a Doug McClure movie. Like, it has that sort of feel to it, and I kind of like it for that. I mean, is it something I'll ever watch again? Probably not. This will probably collect dust on my Blu-ray shelf, but if anybody's interested in Doctor Who, who comes over, they could probably rent it or borrow it or whatever. But, it's a, it, I mean, that's a thing. So, as a stake, the, the, these Doctor Who movies... I can't really... I've tried getting into them, and they're okay for what they are. This is pretty much as much as I could probably stomach with Doctor Who. It's just movies, because at least movies are easier to follow. But doing, like, thousands and hundreds of episodes of the shows, it's like, I won't be able to have time for that, unfortunately. And, yeah, this movie's just a more simple... The movies are more simplified versions of the show. I know there's a Patreon uh, sponsor who wants me to cover uh, the other Doctor Who movie, and I actually just received the message now. I apologize, it's a year later. I might get to that at some point, but I've already got a backlog of requests that I'm doing as opening night, so... Um, I do apologize on that end. Uh, this is a very apologetic uh, opening night because I just haven't been able to make these as much as I want to. So, overall, what are my thoughts on this Doctor Who movie? Um, it's okay. Like, it's not bad. I mean, I can't really compare it to the first one, although I kind of can. I think this one has a bit more entertainment value. But the first one was just kind of like, a, again, a very Irwin Allen, very slow-paced production. This one moves a tad bit faster. Maybe it's because, like, what is it, like 84 minutes? So I guess that adds to it. The, the quality is pretty decent. This is uh, Studio Canal and uh, uh, Kino. Kino actually makes some decent Blu-rays. I mean, I like Kino. Uh, I really like Shop Factory, and I really like what Arrow Video has been putting out. I need to get some Arrow Video Blu-rays. But this movie is okay. So... Would I recommend it for Doctor Who fans? Yeah, probably. Would I recommend it for sci-fi fans? Not 100% sure. Anybody who's into the show or wants to get into it, again, these movies are sort of a good startup for you. And again, Peter Cushing's fantastic. He's the reason you watch these. Um, not necessarily for anybody else. I mean, the Daleks and Peter Cushing, that's about it. And Peter, just because Peter Cushing's awesome. So I'd give this one a 7 out of 10. I can't remember what I gave the last one, but... It's an overall fun time. I, I kind of had fun with this. So, um, very short opening night, but I am trying to get these out there. I'm going to try to get these out on a more weekly schedule. Um, it's funny because after this I have to go do a few things, but um, I just want to get this out there. But, yeah, 7 out of 10, not bad. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Doctor Who, Daleks Invasion of Earth, uh, 2550 AD, uh, in the comment section below. If you're a Doctor Who fan, do you think this is one of the stronger films? Um, let me know. If you think it's bad, let me know. And don't forget, guys, to support our Patreon. Just a dollar more will get you access to all of our content as well as other special features. And if you donate five dollars, you can request me to review a movie like this. Now keep in mind, again, we have a backlog of reviews to do, so let me just finish those up and then I'll get to other requests. So thank you all so much for watching this uh, opening night, and until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off, and, um, exterminate. I got nothing. Just Doctor Who. It's just not my thing, but it's okay.